So we have some pretty bad news for Sonic here. So the April 2020 is with the Global License magazine, an official stock was featured. And no new game is coming until next year. Yep. No new game coming until next year. The number one video game movie of all time. Well, that was actually cut short by the pandemic. You know, Sarkov actually became the highest grossing video game movie of all time. If it wasn't for the pandemic, you know, it didn't release in China. You know, Pikachu made a lot of money in China, but Sonic didn't really get a chance to make money in China. Because, again, how China's box office works is, you know, how China works is that if a movie does not come out fast enough in China, a lot of people are going to pirate the movie, you know, online. You know, a lot of people are going to pirate the movie, so you can't really... So they so most of the, those people in China have already seen... For example, the Sonic the Hedgehog movie. You know, most of these people have already seen it when the movie actually came out. You know, when the movie actually came out in China, it was the same thing with Crazy with Asians. That's why that movie flopped in China. People say, oh, it's because of, it was about rich people. Chinese people hate rich people. But again, in China, movie, if your movie doesn't come out fast enough, your movie usually flops in the feeders because no one wants to watch it. Because in China... They pirate, people in China pirate movies like crazy, you know, because they can't really buy Blu-rays or streaming services. So the really only option is going to see the movie at the movie feeders is here and going to see, you know, a movie on, of course, unless you live in Hong Kong, I'm talking about mainland China, not Hong Kong. Hong Kong has... Completely different rules and regulations when it comes to movies. They're actually far less strict. For example, what's what we think of the movie Deadpool? It was banned in China, but was not banned in Hong Kong because Hong Kong has much less restrictions on what can and can't see be seen in a movie. You know, Hong Kong is basically has different rules and laws when it comes to movies than China. When it comes to entertainment industry, you know, here... When it comes to the entertainment industry, basically, you know, yeah, you know, China. When it comes, you know, when it comes to the entertainment industry, basically, China, you know, is kind of stuck because of the censorship. They don't. They, some movies are could make billions of dollars now, but because of how China is. They won't allow that movie to be seen. For example, Joker still made a billion dollars without, you know, China help. You know, all the Marvel movies need a, needed China to eat a billion dollars. Spider-Man Far From Home, you know, needed a billion, needed China. Endgame needed China to make, make a, reach its, you know, highest grossing movie of all time until Avatar, we took it back because of China. It's really China is what's really determining what is successful in the film industry or not. And that and but no new games. I don't believe that is likely considering they ha we have the weeks for Sonic Colors remastered. You know, I bet there's gonna be like something for to fill the shoes of a new game, basically. Here, and I wouldn't be surprised if that is Sonic Colors, Sonic Generations remastered. You know, all of the. Big Sonic games, big remasters, also talks for Unleashed Remastered as well. So, but when we're talking about Sonic games, we're talking about like Sonic Events are free, okay? But Sega's probably going to pull out something, you know, like, oh yeah, it's probably a bunch of our classic games, you know, that have not been ported already to the, and probably port the Sega collection to the PS5 and Xbox Series X, that's probably going to happen too, I wouldn't be surprised with Sega... Sega does that because it's had the first Sonic games on there. You know, here. Here, and that's basically it. Goodbye.